What is up guys, Kevin here aka Kevin the Kid and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to get the fastest and best horse in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now it's a little bit of a journey so I'm going to take you guys along on this journey with me. So if this is helpful please drop a like down in the video I'd really appreciate that and comment down below what you think of this horse and what your favorite horse is in general. Maybe if it's not the best horse but the best looking horse you know let me know in the comments I'm curious. Other than that guys make sure you subscribe and let's get right into the video. So first things you're going to want to do is change your clothes. You're going to need some warm clothes because we're going to have to go up into the snow lands. So come to your nearest hotel. Check into a room. room please. And room's all once yours. you go to your Head room. Up. Once you go to your room you should be able to change your clothes into something warmer. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Come on. No man deserves this. What the heck is going on? You guys hear that? What? I was like, what am I hearing, dude? Let's get out of here. All right, so let's come over here. Oh. I'm looking good, you babe. Ugly bastard. Oh, hey, maybe not. So let's change our clothes. Come over here, change clothing, and make sure you pick something warm. You should be able to go to outfits, and there'll be some pre-made ones. These are suitable for hot temperatures. This is suitable for cold temperatures. Uh, let's pick, um, that'll do, I guess. That's the only one I see. So let's throw that on. There we go. We're looking good, boys. Now we're good to go. Next step is we got to head up way, way north. Now, I know a lot of you guys may not uh, be even near the location because most of you guys are probably down in this region or venturing even farther down, depending on how far you are in the game. A lot of you guys are probably done with whole, this whole general area, but this is exactly where we have to go. Now the exact location is going to be somewhere around here. So a quick way to travel up there is to take a train. You're going to want to take that train to Wallace Station right here. This is the closest place and um, saves you the most time because sometimes riding your horse across the whole map can get pretty annoying when you're well when you don't have a lot of time to waste as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on the train over here. I'm going to take it up to Wallace Station. And we're going to ride over to that location. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right. Alrighty boys, so we made it to the spot, the location up here by Lake Isabella. So we're gonna go right about here. Now this is a legendary animal spot, so you gotta be on the lookout and be uh be aware you might get attacked by something. So before you go and uh get this horse, which actually happens to be right there, let's see if we can take a look with our binoculars. Look at that. A pure white horse so that's the horse right there guys and now before we go down there and get him I'm gonna recommend to you guys that you do take um, a shotgun with you in case an animal charges you I found that the shotguns work best at killing uh, charging animals so take that with you let me grab my shotgun right there and then of course your lasso which is you're gonna need to capture the horse so let's hop off the horse you don't want to spook him you're gonna want to sneak up to him now hopefully I don't yeah don't do that Okay, don't do what okay, yeah. Don't do what I'm doing. Do this. Do this. Sneak up on him. Make sure there's no animals around that are gonna get you. And get close enough as where you can throw your lasso. So we need to get a little closer than this. This is not close enough. We would probably miss and he'll run. But I think we're just about there, dudes. Alright, let's go for it. Come on, boy! <laughs> Got him! There you go. Now you gotta pull him in, hold down L2, don't let go. Damn it. Uh, press square to calm him down as you're doing this and slowly get closer to him. Uh, if you don't do this, he probably will kick you in the head and uh, I have died one time doing this, surprisingly. There you go, calm him down. Once you're here, hop on him. But you're not done, you're gonna have to control him with the left analog stick. And also calm him at the same time. Not like that, all right? It's kind of difficult, but you'll get it, you'll get it. Just gotta keep trying. If you lose them, just lasso them again, and you should be all right. All right, so we're going to give this another try, guys. Now, remember, it doesn't matter how many times you fail. All that matters is that you get them. It's not going to affect anything. No. We got away, boys. We spooked them. Should be good right here. Don't worry. So we're going to calm them down. down. Calm them down. We're easy now. It's okay. You're all right. Okay. And we're going to mount them. Whoa. And you're gonna want to hold down the left analog stick easy, easy. control it and move it in the opposite direction. Not like uh, I almost had him, but 
You're a fasty one. He's difficult, boys. He's difficult. But that's the idea. You got to hold down the left analyze stick and move it in the oppo opposite directions that he is moving. Once you hold, uh, stay on him for a bit, he'll calm down, and then he'll be your horse. So I feel like we're going to get this next try, guys. So let's give it one more go. Just All right, we got him. We got him. This is the one. This Come is the here. one. Come on. Concentrate. Concentrate, baby. Come on now. Alright, alright. Do not kick me in the head. Go Don't you dare. Easy. Easy. Now, hold, easy. Hold, hold down the left one. Easy, easy. Easy. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay, let's keep at it. Come on, baby. Hey, now. So far, so good. Oh, now. Go keep easy. calming him. Keep calming him. You can relax. Now, I got him, boys. I got him. So again, the trick is to hold in the left analog stick and move it in the opposite direction that he's moving while also pressing square to calm him down at the same time. Once you do that, guys, he's yours. So take him back to your other horse and grab the saddle off your old horse and you're gonna wanna put it onto this horse. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. All right, so let me put that right here. Poor guy, bro. Let's grab this. All right, let's take You'll off his saddle. This off, boy. We're gonna put it on our new horse. Saddle up. All right, and now your old horse is just free. He's a free horse again. So, yep. let's take our new horse and uh, I'm gonna bring him back into the stable so you guys can see the stats on this guy. Pretty sick, he's the fastest horse by far. So let's bring him back in on the town and I'll show you guys there in a second. So we're back at the stables guys with our brand new horse and oh, he looks beautiful. Look at that pure white horse Now look at the stats. The stats are crazy guys and those can get better over time as you level the horse I believe so let's compare these to some of the other default horses the Tennessee Walker Which is your standard horse and look at the stats guys. It's only two speed tool acceleration standard handling even the Shire It's only three speed tool acceleration and the same with um, the Tennessee other Tennessee Walker. Now compared to the Arabian, the Arabian blows it out of the water big time. So this is definitely worth the time to go and get. So I would highly recommend it. And if this was helpful with you guys, I would appreciate it if you guys drop a like on the video and comment down below what you think of this horse. Is this your favorite horse or do you have a different horse that's your favorite? And of course, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time for a brand new Red Dead video, guys. Daddy Peace. was a blacksmith.